What's up, Saints and Sinners? Tammy Husband, finally coming back at you with the vid and coming at you from a new format. No longer using the phone, using my new uh, Dell laptop. So, might as well put some good use other than just watching uh, WWE Network on it. Whole lot of stuff to show. Could spend almost two months, maybe even three. So we're just gonna turn and burn here and get right into it. Entertainment stuff first. Uh, from the series True Blood. Don't know how many of you guys out there have watched it. Say Nelson Ellis. Just kind of popped up when I was doing a search for uh, Sons of Anarchy, Game of Thrones, and okay, it was cheap, so I grabbed it. For the affirmation, Sons of Anarchy. Got three in lately. Kind of Choi. Plays the head of the, the Asian gang on the show. Henry Lin. And then two big ones. Can't have a Sons of Anarchy set without this guy. Cannot. Clay Morrow himself. Ron Perlman. Beautiful auto. Awesome card. Awesome show. Awesome character. Awesome actor. And the big one. This is a big one. I paid a lot. Not too much. I paid a decent amount for this. Because some people ask two plus. I got it for 142. Lead actor of the show. Jax Teller himself, Charlie Hunnam. Hunnam. Now if Netflix would just get season seven on the goddamn Netflix, I could finish it. It'd be awesome. All right, next up, let's do some basketball. Let's start with random basketball pickups. I'm still incredibly surprised how cheap it is to get Legends and Hall of Famers in basketball than it is rookies. Um, like, I, I still can't get a Jabari Parker autograph card because I can't afford it. But I can afford these guys, which is crazy. For the Bulls, Horace Grant. I can't even see where I'm holding the card now. It's crazy. I used to fly blind. Another bull. John Paxson. So if you're keeping track, I now have a Pippin, a Paxson, and a Grant. So that means all I need is a Cartwright in a Bulls uniform. And of course, you know, that other guy. Be, he was a pretty good player. And I'll have the whole Bulls starting five from the original championship team. Breaks your ankles. Killer crossover. Timmy Hardaway. And speaking of Bulls and just watching great games from the past. Hated this guy, but he was always such a great player. John Starks. Duke PC. Haven't been able to score one of this kid yet in a Duke uniform, so I sell for one in a Laker uniform since it came with the Hardaway. Ryan Kelly. New Buck. Miles Plumley. Elton Brand. And my okay. guy. It's one of those uh, on card authentic insert cards. Christian Leitner. Pretty cool card. Bucks. Bucks, bucks, bucks. Bucks, bucks, bucks. X Buck. Love the kid. Wish him well. But. Love the trade that uh, netted us MCW. Some of you guys are like, who the fuck is MCW? Brandon Knight. Kids really been stepping it up for us this year. Chris Middleton. Uh, all time great. Really nice on card auto. This one's number out of 199. Bob Dandridge. Another R.I.P. Robert Tracker trailer. Get another R.I.P. Found this. Found this one in a Bucks uniform. Had to get it, um, even though he's generally known as a Nick. He did play for us for a couple seasons. This one's numbered out of 49. Late Anthony Mason. Another one of our rookies, Johnny O'Brien. 
if he's out of LSU. Probably our best player. This is the uh, Donra Swirlarama. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the guy I cannot get an auto of to save my life is out of Paramount. This is the Dufex base version of Jabari Parker. It's weird seeing myself in the camera here. Football. Yeah, let's do football. Bunch of Storm Johnsons to show, so I'm just going to go through them. All out of Chrome. This is out of, this is the 150. This is a camo out of 99. Football's really been taking a backseat to uh, basketball and some baseball. Which you'll see next. Some baseball. Quotes. Storm Johnson, still with the blue wave. Out of, what is this? Bowman Sterling. Got the base. And then this is the Pulsar. I think that's numbered. Yep, numbered out of, see it there, 25. Still late, we pick it up a little better. It's a little overcast out today. Um, some randos here. Had to hop on this one, got for a sweet deal. Numbered out of 50. Derek Carr. Legion of Boom, Earl Thomas, the third, and I can't believe I picked up a card of this guy, I can't believe the price I got this for either, but what up this film not yet rated, number out of 50, the manimal, the beautiful porcelain doll, porcelain doll, Clay Matthews. He had a good season. I got to admit, he had a great season this year. A couple fleeners, not too many. It's the blue wave. This is the Bowman Black Border. Got these in a lot, of course. Um, Prism. And another the Bowman, the sparkly, poppy looking bubbly thing there. I always forget to forget the technical names of those. What do we do next here? Let's do set pickups. I'm really starting to get irritated with this set because whenever something pops up, it just, the prices are nuts and I overpaid on a couple of these. One in particular I really overpaid on. And it's this moron, Trent Green. I'm not even going to tell you guys what I paid for this. I overpaid. Wish I could do it all over again because I would have just let the goddamn thing go. I actually paid less for the blood, so. These were all from the same seller. He must have been selling off his set. They were staying stagnant for a while. I'm like, oh, sweet, I'm going to get a big chunk of these done. And for some reason, that was Rod Gardner, by the way. They just took off. Like, Whatever. Whatever. Chad Bennington. And Matt Hasselbeck. One last football set. All right. So close, so close to this set getting done. James Lofton out of 49. And this was a big one for me. This ain't as big as the last two, which are Dion and Terrell. But... There was one seller on eBay, I know I've said this in a past video, who would not budge from a $250 price. His, his exact quotation to me was, I sell based on demand, not on book. Fuck your demand. Your $150 or $250 that you wanted, or $150, $26.32, you fucking clown. Scored me this Len Dawson out of 25. So good luck. Selling that one, because <laughs> I got mine. Fuck you. Yeah. So that leaves two out of ten. I need the Terrell Davis out of ten, and I need the Deion Sanders out of ten. I have a Deion Sanders on my watch list. It's another one of those dipshit sellers that thinks it's a $200 card. 
Most Deion Sanders out of 10 go in the vicinity of $70 to $85. Maybe one day he'll get real, but I doubt it. Baseball time, baby. Baseball is in the air. Out of, I believe this is 2014 five star. Never had an auto of his, won an auto. Got it for a nice price. The Eck. There's a couple guys in this set. I don't want to do the set because there are some money cards in that set that I couldn't even touch with a 10 foot pole. So kudos to guys like Sictifer and whatnot that can do the set from last year because that's. That takes some stamina. But I'll stick to my Inception sets. Thank you very much. Made a fat dent in the 2014 Inception set. One guy in Alaska was selling basically all the lower end ones and a couple high ends. So I won a whole ton from that. I think 28. These are not part of it. These are just random ones I picked up on eBay. Taiwan Walker for the uh, rookies and now for the prospects I'm just gonna burn through these quick Archie Bradley Austin Meadows Alexander Guerrero screw you glare Rafael Montero Alan Hansen Arismandi Alcantara I probably butchered his name, but I tried the best that I can with my limited Mexican tongue. Anthony Renato. I'll save this other one till last, because that's a pretty big one. All right, guy from Alaska. Robert Kaminsky. Jorge Polanco. Jake Lamb. Leonardo Molina. Jorge Bonifacio. Renato Nunez, Roberto Osuna, DJ Peterson, Oscar Mercado, Jose Peraza, Tim Anderson, Jason Hirsch. Ryan McMahon, Tom Murphy, Phil Irvin, Tyler Pike, Luke Jackson, Edwin Escobar, Billy McKinney, Gary Sanchez, John Denny. Oh wow, this name's gonna haunt me. Adel Alberto Mejia. <laughs> Micah Johnson. Jonathan Gray. Daniel Robertson. And the big two out of uh, this lot that I got, Miguel Sano. And one more Byron Buxton, who's in the prospects again this year after being in the last year. So now I have two Byron Buxtons. So hopefully the kid actually flourishes. And the big one that I've picked up for the set so far, and yes, there is one bigger, and yes, they both play in Chicago. Reigning Rookie of the Year and absolute stud monster, Jose Abreu. And who's the other big one? The other big one's Chris Bryant. And he's so awesome and cool that he could only start signing at 75. These are unnumbered. Chris Bryant could only start at 75. But that's cool. So I'll have one oddball that's like slightly greener than the kind of like woodsy gray look there, but is what it is. So that's it. I can, I can got a timer right here. You can't see it, but I kept this video under 15 minutes, which is crazy. Crazy. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, I don't got much, too much coming in. A couple basketball stuff here and there and working on something else. Not going to let you know until it actually happens. But that's it. Go Bucky. Later.